Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. Big stretch. And then let's go down low. Touch our toes. Back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. Okay, and then back down to touch your toes once more. And stand up straight, guys. Hands on hips. We can have a wiggle side to side. And stop. Another wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. And next we can go around and round. Around and round. Round and round, and stop. And then back the other way. Round and round the other way. Round and round the other way. And stop. And now we'll have a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out, guys. Have a good shake, arms and legs. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So in our previous lesson, can anybody remember what we learned to do with decimal numbers? Digit value. Correct. We learned about digit value of decimal numbers. So first of all, let me write that phrase on the board. So digit is D-I-G-I-T. And value... V-A-L-U-E of decimal numbers. N-U-M-B-E-R-S. Excellent, guys. So altogether, digit value of decimal numbers. And the way we work out the digit value of decimal numbers is to take into account the place value that we've learned already, the tenths, hundredths, 
and thousands. And then to look at the number involved and we can do our digit value. So what I'll do now is I'll write a number on a board and I'll have some students come forward and demonstrate their understanding of digit value. So first of all, we need a number. So let's see, we've got one, two. Now this is a whole number, no decimals yet. The decimal numbers always come after the decimal point. So now any numbers after the decimal point are our decimals. And we'll go with three, two, and eight. So remembering place value, the three is in the tenths column. The two is in the hundredths column. And the eight is in the thousandths column. So what I want somebody to do in a moment is to come forward and tell me what the digit value of the three is here. So let's all close our eyes, guys. Let's see who can go first. Today, the first student will be Pat. So Pat will come forward and demonstrate his understanding of this number here as a digit value. So we've got the number three, but Pat, can you now write the digit value of this number, please? So first of all, we need our zero, correct, yes. Zero, and then our decimal point, and then the number three. Excellent. So we can see that the digit value of the number three here, 0 0.3 tenths. Can we all say that, guys? 0 0.3 tenths. Because remember place value, and then we use the value of the digit. So, Pat, one more time. 0 0.3 tenths. Excellent, Pat. Very well done. High five, and a big round of applause for Pat. Okay, so now on to the next digit in our decimal numbers. So let's see who can work this one out for us. We'll draw a line going here. And now the pen is with Nadia. So Nadia, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, so now we've got the number two. But the number two isn't a tenth, it's a hundredth. So that means an extra zero. So can Nadia, can you demonstrate the digit value of the two? It's zero point zero two. Excellent. So all together, guys, zero point zero two hundredths. Nadia, can you say one more time? Zero point zero two hundredths. By looking at the place value and the number involved, we get our digit value. Nadia, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Nadia, guys. <laughs> the eight, which is in a thousandths column. So let's see now who can put the eight into its digit value. And the pen is weird. Bang pong. <laughs> So bang bang, come and join me at the front. So remember guys, with decimal numbers, all we need to do is add another zero every time we go past the decimal point. So bang bang, can you write the digit value of the eight here? Zero point zero zero eight. Perfect. You see, every time we're just adding another zero. So all together, zero, Point zero zero eight thousandths. So bang on one more time. Zero point zero zero eight thousandths. Excellent bang pong. Very well done. High five. Big round of applause for bang pong. So that was the previous lesson recapped. And what we're going to do now is move on to today's lesson, which is learning how to write decimal numbers in expanded form. Now, once again, we use place value. So as a demonstration, we'll use this number. Who can remember what column is this here, guys, in our whole number? What does the one represent? 
Any ideas? Can you remember? The one, what place value? Tens. Excellent. So how many tens do we have? One. So we write ten. Plus, what does two represent? Ones. How many ones? Two. Plus, and now we already have our decimal numbers. So you see, we take this number and write it in expanded form by taking the value of each of the place values, 10 plus 2 plus 0.3 plus 0.02 plus 0.008. Excellent, guys, equals 12.328. And this is how we write a decimal number in expanded form. Brilliant, guys. Very well done. <laughs> and what we've got now is a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe, listen to, and practice speaking about how to sort different numbers with decimals into expanded form. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, please, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation Writing decimals, writing decimals in expanded form. In expanded form. Excellent, guys. Let's take a look. So what number can we see here? 12.738. Okay. So first of all, let's look at the number in red, the 1. What is the place value of the 1? Tens. One is in the tens place. So its digit value is 10. Because one times 10 equals 10. Okay? So we know about place value and digit value. Two is in the ones place. So its digit value is two. two. Two times one equals two. So that's what we know. Now onto the decimal numbers. Seven, Seven. is in the tenths place. So its digit value is naught point seven. Tenths. The first place after the decimal point, tenths. So you can see it represented here by 0 0.7. Three, Three is in the hundredths place. So its digit value is 0.03. Remember, every place after the decimal point we add another zero. Always getting a bigger number with the zeros. And then what comes after the hundredths? Thousands. Eight is in the thousands place. So its digit value is not point not not eight. Yes. Now we know the digit value and the place value. Now it's time to look at this number in expanded form. And all we do is we take the digit value of all of the individual numbers and add them together. Therefore, twelve point seven three eight is written. In expanded, form, in expanded form, as, as 10, 10 plus 2, 2 plus 0.7 0 .7, plus 0.03 plus 0.008. Okay, lots of notes with the decimals. But that's what we mean by expanded form. 
we write each number with its digit value individually and then add them all together. Because if we add all of these different numbers together, we will get 12.738. Understand, guys? Okay, let's do one more together. What's the number now? The big number. Three is in the tens place. So its digit value is 30. Because we know three times 10 equals 30. And then the next digit after the tens is the ones. Four is in the ones place. So its digit value is four. Four times one equals four, okay? Now, the decimal point. So you guys know already now, every number after the decimal point is a decimal number. Five is in the tenths place. So its digit value is not just five, after the decimal point, 0 0.5. Okay, always remember the 0 0.5 with the decimal numbers. And the next number we look at, 8, is in the hundredths place. So its digit value is 0 0.08. Excellent. Remember, another zero after the tenths place. And then, after the hundredths, three is in the thousandths place. So its digit value is naught point naught naught three. Yes. Now we know the digit value of all the numbers. To write them in expanded form, we need to add them all together. 30, 30. plus 4, plus 0.5, plus 0.08, plus 0.003, equals 34. 0.583. And this is what we mean, guys, by writing decimal numbers in expanded form. We take the place value and the digit value of each number, write them individually, and then add them together. Any questions? No. Excellent, guys. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation to learn how to write decimal numbers in expanded form. It means taking each number individually based on its place value and digit value, writing them independently so we can add them together at the end. And soon we've got a flashcards exercise coming up for our students to practice. But first of all, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll begin with some rotations. So let's go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent. And now for some stretches. First of all, let's do five stretches to our right. One, two. Three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And then let's do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now let's have a shake. Arms and legs. Then let's take our right hand 
And let's find our left foot. And then left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Brilliant, guys. And to finish this time, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. Okay, so it's almost time for our flashcard exercise. But first of all, let's write the topic of today's lesson on the board. Writing W-R-I-T-I-N-G. Writing decimals, D-E-C-I-M-A-L, numbers, N-U-M-B-E-R-S. And today we're learning about expanded form, E-X-P-A-N-D-E-D-F. O R M. So all together, guys, writing decimal numbers in expanded form. Okay, so teachers, what you'll need to do now, or before the lesson, is to print out the flash sheets. Put each of the decimal numbers into individual strips of paper. And what we're going to do is have students come forward, choose one of the strips of paper, write the number on the board, and then demonstrate their understanding of writing that number in expanded form. So what you should have is something that looks like this, a bowl or a tray with individual strips of paper. Now, I'd like to invite my first student to the front of class. Frau, come and join me at the front of class, please. Frau gets first pick on her numbers. Okay, and can you show it to your friends, please? So what number can you see, guys? 59.321. Okay, so Pro, first thing, can you write that number on the board? 59.321. Okay. Excellent, Prel. So what we need to do now is we need to write this number in expanded form. So what we need to do is look at the place value and the number involved. So in our tens column, how many tens do we have? Five. So what's five times ten? Fifty. Okay. So the first value is fifty. Plus, what's the next column? Nine, and nine ones equals nine. Excellent, the tenths, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, excellent. Each time, it's an extra zero. Zero, zero, one. Brilliant, Prel. So we can say the numbers together. 50 plus nine, Plus 0.3, plus 0.02, plus 0 or 0.001, equals 59.321. Hello, that was brilliant. And that's how we write numbers involving decimals in expanded form. High five. And a big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and do the same activity with your own students for the next 10 to 12 minutes. And remember to choose a different student for each different flashcard. And then when we've done it, have the entire class practice speaking together. And we're going to play on here now. But first of all, I'll clean the board. Okay, let's see. So who can go next, I know? 
bank on. Come and join me at the front of class, please. And you can choose your flashcard and show it to your friends. What can we see on Pangpon's flashcard, guys? Okay, so the first thing you need to do, Pangpon, is to write your number on the board. Seven and three, seventy-three point six two five. Excellent. Okay, so now Pangpon will demonstrate how to write this number in expanded form. Okay, so first the seven, and what does the seven represent? Seventy plus three. Plus zero point six. Excellent bang pong. Then another zero, so it's zero point zero two. Excellent. And then the final one we add another zero. Zero point zero zero five. Bang pong, that's brilliant. So let's practice speaking the different numbers together. First of all, we have 70 plus 3 plus 0.6 plus 0.02 plus 0.005 equals 73.625. And this is writing decimal numbers in expanded form. Bang Bon, brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Bang Bon, please, guys. And now time for our next student. Okay, so next students, I would like to invite to the front, Lak Gao. Lak Gao, come and join me at the front and choose your flashcard. What number can we see, guys? 22.221. Lots of twos in this one. So, like out, first of all, can you write the number on the board, please? 22.221. Okay. So, what we do, start with the first number. What's the place value of this two? Tens. How many tens? Two tens equals 20. Okay, so we've got 20. And then 2 plus 0.2 plus 0.02 plus 0.001. Black out. Brilliant. You see, even though we have the same digit, 2, 2, 2, 2, in expanded form, it's different place values to different numbers. 20 plus 2 plus 0.2 plus 0.02 plus 0.001 equals 22. 0.221. Perfect. Lakao, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Lakao, please, guys. <laughs> Let's do one more together and then we'll move on. And our final student for the flashcard today will be Net. Come and join me at the front, please, Net. And choose a flashcard. Okay, and now can you show it to your friends? Okay, so what do you notice? All the eights, okay? But well, every eight has a different digit value when we write it in expanded form. Well, first of all, Ned, can you write this number on the board? 88 point eight eight eight. Okay, so place value here, tens. Eight times ten equals 80. 
So we've got 80 plus 8 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.08 plus Excellent, guys. You see, after the decimal point, it's an extra zero every time. Net, brilliant. 80 plus 8 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.008 equals 88.888. Brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Ned, please, guys. And a big round of applause for everybody for doing such a great job. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, make sure every student in your class gets their own worksheet. And what our students need to do today is they need to look at each of the different numbers. And then, in the space provided, write these numbers in expanded form, exactly like we've been doing with the flashcards exercise. So what's the first thing to do, guys? Names on top. And then, at the end, we can look at them together. So teachers, if our students have any problems, you can help them all the time, too, to just monitor the class. So like how this one's for you. Now, here's yours. You're welcome. Down. You're welcome. Chew, this one's for you. Nadia, here's yours. You're welcome. Pat, for you. You're welcome. Pat Bung, you're welcome. Annette, this one's for you. So, guys, names on top, and then, exactly like we were doing in the flashcards exercise, write each of the numbers in expanded form. And if you need any help, let me know. I can do them on the board, too. So the first one, 39.572. That's 30 plus 9 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.002. That's how we write expanded form, guys. If you need another look, that's number one. 39.572 is written in expanded form like this. And if you need any more help with others, let me know. Just remember, after the decimal point, we add another zero every time. Start off with no point, and then the number, and then no point, not the number, no point, not, not the number. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Excellent, guys. Great to see you're all working well. Well 
right done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet exercise where they had to write each of the numbers in the left-hand column in expanded form in the spaces provided. My students here all did an excellent job, so very well done, guys. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and found it interesting and now understand about writing decimal numbers in expanded form. We just take the place value and the digit value of each number, write them individually so that they all add up to the same amount. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again soon. <laughs>